Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Top Gun Show. My name is Brian Babich. I'm the Senior Director of Sales for the U.S. with AppSmart. And today, I have the privilege of being the guest host on the Top Gun Show. And it's my privilege to interview the man behind the show, Mr. Steve Farmerlo. A little bit about Steve. He's one of the most recognized leaders in our industry. He spent the majority of his career helping build sales teams and helping uh, technology advisors build their books of business um, through selling deeper into their accounts and pivoting from selling circuits providing a wide variety of technology services, including SaaS, mobility, energy, and others. Uh, he is our guy here at AppSmart building the South Central region, as we call it, which is seven states. But he also has that national presence that helps us get the word out about AppSmart and continue to evangelize who we are and where we're going. So with that said, Steve, a big welcome. How are you? I'm doing great, man. It's great to be on my show. It's great to be on your show. Hey, thanks for letting me sit on this side of the screen. It is, it is, it is a privilege. Um, and I told my kids, I woke up in a cold sweat. I'm going to be hosting a show tomorrow with millions and millions of viewers. Did I do that right? There are millions. Of, you're right. You got it right. Yeah, I went back and watched your shows exactly how you say it. So, um, so all kidding aside, hey, thanks for the opportunity and really excited to be partnered up with you here at AppSmart. So let's talk about that. Um, we started talking when I heard that you moved to Texas and there might be an opportunity for us to team up. And I know you had other opportunities. So why don't you tell the viewers a little bit about AppSmart and why you chose AppSmart and why you felt that aligned with your next move in your career? Uh, great question. Well, you know, I heard about AppSmart when I was running an agency in California. I grew that agency from, I think, six to 35 sales agents and helped them pivot to from only selling circuits to selling managed cloud, hosted, managed security, MSP stuff. And um, AppSmart bought WTG, which was one of the masters we did business with. And I found out more about AppSmart back then. And that's that, you know, they're, they're like a master agency, but they also have, or we also have, software as a service, energy as a service, and we deliver it all through the digital marketplace. What, what does that even mean? It means that technology merchants can give their customers smart access to technology through our subscription commerce platform. We help customers find, buy, and manage their, their, their technology services. It's grown so rapidly uh, App Direct, our parent, is, is doing over a billion dollars a year right now. So it's working. And I'm, I'm just pleased to be with a company that has such an incredible value proposition. It's like, I want to tell the world about it. Yeah, there's a lot to unpack there. I know, in fact, I think your next video, you're going to be talking to our vice president of marketing, Brian Leonard, about our Unleash event, where uh, technology advisors can come and really learn everything. You mentioned subscription platform, you know, our marketplace. Um, what we're finding candidly is that advisors are realizing we can meet them where they're at out there, but then take them to a whole nother place and get them ready for the future. Help them create an on-ramp for SaaS and energy and mobility and doing it through that, that digital marketplace, that subscription platform. And, um, and that has just an amazing vision attached to it that again, you can hear about that um, at, uh, at that event, Unleash, that's coming up. So let's talk about this show. So you've interviewed over 300 guests, is that right? Yeah. So 300 guests, um, is this what you thought it would be? And I say that because you have such a wide variety of, a, of an audience. It's not just telco folks or um, you know, the technology space. You have other industries, you have a lot of end users that, that pay attention to your show for content around the world. I know every time you tag me in it, my phone starts going like crazy and I have to you know, go over there and, and switch it off because I'll turn around and you'll have 400 comments and 20,000 views. So you've built up an amazing following through this show. Um, is this what you expected? Absolutely not. The, the, the reason why I did it is I think that um, video content is a lot more effective than writing something and posting it on LinkedIn or, or just a picture. I think people want to interact with a video and learn. And, and it must work because I'm connected to over 30,000 people now on LinkedIn. 70%, like you mentioned, are C-level executives. They're looking for content. They're looking to get some information so they can make an informed decision. Forrester says that 70% of, of the decision-making process is already done by the time they engage a sales rep. So I'm just trying to deliver content. I, it started out just, you know, uh, just filming, you know, channel managers that came into my office, and now it's branched into not only cutting-edge te technology, 
but social movement, political, health and wellness, entertainment. I've interviewed Hollywood people and, and I've interviewed robots. You have interviewed robots. So if an advisor that, that is somewhere around the country or in your region came to you and said, hey, you, you've got this thing down, it's a machine. Can you help me or give me some tips on how to incorporate video to an end user audience? Would you be willing to do that? Yeah, absolutely. And I've talked to a lot of the sales partners that I have relationships with about that. And I think the number one tip is just do it. Like don't try to polish it up too much. Just turn on your camera, film it and post it. And if it doesn't go well, just post another one in a couple of days. Just don't be afraid of it. Right. Yeah. That, I was told a long time ago that eyes have it. So you can sit there and worry about perfection or just get some things out there and, uh, and start the process. So that's awesome. So we've talked about AppSmart. We've talked about the show. Let's talk more about Steve. Do you mind as we wrap up, if I could just fire some rapid fire questions at you and uh, see what answers you have. Have at it. Have at it. All right. So uh, the very first one is with the show, you've interviewed a lot of people. Who's the most interesting person you've interviewed and why? Well, I'm going to answer that two ways. The most interesting person I ever interviewed was Cleo the robot, and that's, that's not a person. So I'm going to say Guy Fieri, who I've known for 25 years since when he came to uh, Northern California and opened his first restaurant. That was a fun interview. Got it. Well, you, you were smart there, right? So you went with the robot first. You want to uh, offend a human and you went with a guy, which is an amazing relationship you have. And you don't offend anyone in our, in our industry. So because you've had some awesome guests on. All right. So next question, you moved from California to Texas without knowing a soul. That was a big jump for you. Um, pleasant surprise about Texas and um, anything unexpected? The pleasant surprise was Southern hospitality. I heard about it, but it's true. I know when I go on the freeway here and I turn on my turn signal, the guy in the lane next to me pulls over and goes like this, like, come on in. And in California, that's not the case. We, you drive in California, turn on your turn signal, the car next to you speeds up, flips you off and honks. Yeah, and I, a like yeah, and I'd say the on the negative side, the, the only negative I've found so far is uh, my wife met a tarantula the other day on a walk, didn't like it. Oh, you, and yeah, I, I was going to say, how'd that go? I guess the, the obvious answer is who does like that? Didn't get too close, right? No. Good. Good deal. All right. First sales job. Uh, TV Guide magazine. I ordered little red candles around Christmas time, paid 25 cents for them, sold them for a buck door to door at age seven. Oh, wow. You give me flashbacks to my grandparents' house with a TV guide, like sitting there reading through that thing. That's crazy. Interesting. And last question, what movie most resembles your life? Well, that's a tough one. I, I would probably say The Natural with Robert Redford because I want people, when I walk down the street, to go, there goes Steve Farmerlow. He was the best telecom guy in the industry. There you go. That's a great movie. It's one to watch. I think I'm going to go back around and watch that with my kids. So, Steve, thank you for the opportunity again to host the show. Keep doing what you're doing. Again, so glad to be partnered up with you. And uh, if you're out there, thanks for watching the show. And not only check out the future episodes, as, as you probably will, but you can go back, you know, go to Steve's profile on LinkedIn, for example. You can go back and watch some awesome interviews. I did that the other night and uh, I saw some really cool interviews. So again, thanks, Steve. And thank you, everyone. Have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.